everybody how are you doing today welcome to the sim hangar my name is mark and today i've got something that's not only useful and informative but for you microsoft flight simulator 2024 pilots out there i consider essential how many hours and how much time have you spent invested in configuring this controller or that controller of setting up the bravo throttle quadrant for example for different types of aircraft and what have you only to find that those profiles get lost, disappear, get damaged, or whatever the case may be. Well, in a significant step forward in development for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, Sim Update 3, currently in beta at the time that I'm recording this video, there is now an export and import option. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can export and also import profiles you export to keep them safe so if anything ever happens no major problem you can just import that profile back but more significantly and more importantly perhaps is the option now that you can share those profiles because when you export them you can save them locally on your pc that means that if people have profiles they're now able to share those with other members of the community which is going to be a great step forward and save us loads of time. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So let's jump into the control section of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and let's get started. For my example today, I'm using the Cessna Caravan 208B, a default aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I have a number of peripherals attached. I'm going to select the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. And you can see under the Airplanes and Specific, I have a configuration, but nothing under General, which normally applies to such things as camera, doesn't really apply to the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. In Sim Update 3, if you click on the cog next to any of these, you will see there is an Import and an Export function. The General, Aeroplane and Specific all have their own Import-Export function and would be exported or imported individually. The single turbo prop configuration is a somewhat complicated one, not something you would relish having to start from scratch. To demonstrate the import and export function, we're going to use under the aeroplane controls the single turbo prop. You'll note that there is one specific control, propeller idle, that's a separate category, so will not be backed up or exported when we back up the airplane control, it's an important point to note, they need to be done individually. I'm going to export the single turbo prop under the airplanes category. It brings up the file manager. Select a suitable place on your hard drive to store it. The file name is automatically assigned and you'll note that it's an XML file. Select save and it reports that your profile has been successfully saved. You've just backed up your profile. If we head back to our file manager quickly, we can confirm that. There's the file saved. I'm just going to open the file with notebook just to check that there's data in there, which there is. But of course you don't have to do this. As this process is fairly new, I'm just doing a quick cross check. And yes, I can see single turbo prop there. All looking good. Let's head back to Sim. The question now is, did it work? Well, there's really only one way to find out, and that is to select the single turbo prop configuration and let's delete it. We have a backup and we should be able to restore it. We can go back to our airplane controls and just page through. I've got a heap of different profiles. But yes, the single turbo prop is not there. It's gone. So with my heart in my mouth, let's restore it. So making sure we choose airplane controls, let's select the cog and select import. The file manager will open once again. Navigate to where you saved the file. There it is, I'm going to select that, then select Open. If you're importing a profile for the first time, the chances are you will not see this message. Your profiles under your account are stored in the cloud. I can only assume this happens as it takes some time to update. Or alternatively, and quite possibly, the interface is still buggy. I've been able to remove this message by restarting the sim, but overall I've found it's not necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. The profile just takes a moment or two to load and it says that your profile has been successfully imported. And there it is. Once again, I can just page through or click through the various profiles just to make sure that it comes up. Yes, it's there. Single turboprop, happy with that. 
And of course, we can check the accuracy of that by changing the filter to assigned. I'm quite familiar with the configuration for the single turboprop, so I can more or less estimate whether everything's there, all looking good to me. We have successfully imported a profile. Let's now address the issue of sharing profiles. And I've been able to do that with the help of my good friend James Hudson, a fellow content creator. I gave James access to a number of the profiles which he imported. And I'll let James tell you about his experience directly. But if you're not familiar with Hudson's YouTube channel, well, you should be. Link in the notes below. Please check him out and give him lots of subscribes. Airplane control. So Mark has sent me via Discord a link to uh, basically an XML file, I believe. So airplane controls. This is my what I have set up at the moment on my Molza force feedback flight stick which is there, the AB9. That's what I've got set up. To import marks, I'm going to go to this cog. Go to import. Hopefully you'll see this. It's stick flight. That's the one. He sent me a couple, and I'll show you this GA1 later as well. But stick flight, I'm going to click on it and click open. Uh, and it will say that presets with identical name. This is something that we found, me and Mark were chatting earlier. And a preset with an identical name already exists, do you want to overwrite it? Even though it doesn't exist, because I deleted it. But I'm just going to click OK anyway. Your profile has been successfully imported. This circle will go around just for a short time. Now, it looks identical to what I showed you before. What you have to do, you have to go backwards and forwards. So come out of this stick flight, which I've just imported. Just use my right arrow. And then go back into it again. And there you go. These are now the profiles from Mark's flight stick. And as you can see, I'm just going to put the aeroplane one on. No, I, I can't put it on none. But essentially, where it's got aeroplanes analog. So ignore the general ones. These are the exact copy of Max. He also sent me his GA profile. So the general. So these would be for looking around the cockpit and external view. And they work fine as well. Just a note that when you are sharing profile and downloading profiles, make sure it's from a reliable source that you trust. That is very important and don't be surprised if you get this warning message. If at any time you find difficulty in seeing the particular profile that you've imported, this might be sim related or cloud based related, restart your sim and hopefully all will be well. This is, in my opinion, a very positive step and will be very useful for us sim pilots. My big thanks to James once again for his help and assistance and also all the way on the other side of the world in Australia to Discord member Gretchy79. Thank you very much, sir. So after all that, what's your views? Is this something that you'll use? Let me know in the comments below. Well, I hope you found this useful and informative. Stay well, look after yourselves as always. See you soon and ciao for now.